Hello everybody, welcome to another weekly market news. Today is Monday, 21st of December, and we are closing last two weeks of trading in 2020, which was a wild year for, for uh, financial markets, and we hope to see uh, some more opportunities until the end of the year, and also uh, we expect uh, some huge volatility. So let's look at what we can expect from the last two weeks of 2020, and how we can prepare for trading in those days. As we can see uh, right now, S&P 500 and other stock indices, they were they were having quite a good week uh, last week, but uh, the beginning of this week is uh, quite negative as, uh, as UK uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson uh, pushed London and most of Britain, most of UK back to the uh, back to the lockdown. Uh, the bar are, bars are closed, restaurants, uh, shops. Um, the fall was seen mainly on European stock indices and uh, GBP and Euro. So uh, there is uh, the last few weeks uh, a lot of events that are happening over the weekend and markets react um, maybe tend to over over uh, react uh, sometimes. So uh, you can see these huge moves at the beginning of this week not only on s p 500 but like i said mainly on european stock indices you can see dax is uh heavily under pressure uh, today and basically wipe out wiped out all the gains uh from this month and uh, it's going even lower uh interesting thing is that the dax here turned uh, right before touching its all-time high so there is still some space to fill so any new uh, any new uh, information that would be good for stocks uh, would probably push stocks and and even the European stock indices above the all-time high level uh, where we are heading. Last week we had the FOMC meeting uh, where Jer Fed chairman and uh, President Jeremy Powell said that um, Fed will keep. Uh, purchase the bonds uh, so its QE program will will uh, continue until the economy isn't uh, fully recovered and as well as the economy the job market in the United States so uh, those are the major news from last week uh, which could push stocks uh, even higher also Fed allowed uh, banking sector to uh, resume the buybacks um share buybacks which again is a uh, very good uh, information for the stock markets and uh, banking sector especially so so that's what's happening on the market you can see it's quite negative uh, for the uh, end of the end, end of this week uh, also we have solved uh, one of the major problems in the last few months uh, which is uh, u.s fiscal stimulus which is right now in uh, amount of 900 billion us dollars it also includes uh, direct payments and uh unemployment aid which uh could uh, give for the economy uh some kind of support over the bridge over the bad times uh when and support the economy and job market and also there is another ppp program uh increasing increase in uh an amount which could help the market as well uh, if you look at Forex, last week uh, was again quite positive, uh, like I said, for risk assets. So uh, US dollar was uh, declining uh, and further, as you can see, the beginning of this week on the other end is uh, quite negative uh, for uh, riskier assets. So US dollar is taking uh, some gains in uh, on uh, Euro USD uh, as well as GBP USD. Right now you can see a steep fall after opening with the opening gap uh, last week we opened with the uh, with selling gap uh, we fill the we fill the uh, opening gap here from the last week the uh, buying gap and right now we are um, coming uh, up a little bit and we are expecting the uh, reaction to this level one. 32.95 uh, as uh, Brexit news right now we have no uh, new uh, breakthrough uh, informations uh, that would let us to think uh, if the deal is closed or not 
uh, it was heard that the um, UK might also come um, with uh, with EU with some mini agreements after the uh, transition period that is ending on the 31st of December. So that's a GBP USD from last week. Uh, USD CAD is also, and you can see under heavy pressure from US dollar. We are waiting for this level 127.89 uh, to retest and maybe maybe continue its uh, um, correction because you Canadian dollar as well as other currencies against the US dollar is uh, having some sort of, some very decent gains as well as uh, USD JPY. It's not under as heavy pressure because obviously, uh, obviously, Japanese yen is also the safe haven currency. So investors are gonna look for some uh, gains over there. So USD JPY is looking like this. Uh, gold is uh, quite volatile at the beginning of this week. You can see daily time frame. It was ranging from 1900 to 18, 1850. Uh, it's a huge range. You can see the one hour time frame. We still are holding on in a, in a, in a descending, uh, descending channel. So we're still holding on to this level. We test the 900, we test the decreasing trend line. So uh, it's looking quite negative for oil overall. You can see that it's heavily um, dependent on the US dollar. So US dollar is surging. And, uh, gold is falling so it's really not about the risk and uh, and the markets uh, for gold as uh, it should be uh, as, as it is the, the riskier assets that uh, um, investors tend to uh, put their money in uh, in the time of distress in the markets uh, last but not least oil last week touched more than 49 dollars a barrel for the oil WTI Right now, falling again with new restrictions uh, from London, from UK. Uh, also, the outlook for demand is, is, is worsening right now. So, with the additional 500,000 barrels from last from from New Year, it's not going to be that easy for oil to hold the gains for significantly for a longer period of time. So, uh, it's no surprise that the oil is falling. Uh, we, we we've been talking about this uh, in the previous video. So. Um, it's no really a huge surprise for us. So that's what's happening on the markets as of right now. Uh, if we look at the economic calendar, what we expect this week, obviously uh, there's a Christmas on 24th. Um, so uh, the news will be, uh, there won't be much of them. We have core durable orders uh, 20, on Friday 25th, there's a Christmas day in most of the economies. So trading will be extremely extremely hard at some points because um, there's a, a volatility that is sometimes not expected to be a, as big and also the moves on the markets uh, they really need a little uh, to move because there is obviously uh, there are obviously missing um, missing the uh, volumes from US and the big markets so this week should not be as important uh, as uh, we are looking at the macroeconomic news on Monday. There is nothing to be expected. On uh, Tuesday, we have GDP from US uh, revision, also some housing data from US uh, consumer confidence on Wednesday. There's also another some interesting data like PC price index, uh, which is closely watched by Fed, uh, jobless claims, for the last week are also quite important and new homes sales from US. Uh, also oil will be quite interesting on Wednesday uh, to look at these stocks, uh, stocks change uh, from AI. Uh, we'll see how this will play out and how will this will affect the market. So this will be it for today's video for this week and also for this year. So I hope to see you next, next year uh, in another video series uh, from the markets. And I uh, wish you a uh, happy new year, uh, all good, uh, much of the uh, profits and uh, good trades uh, to be made in the next year. So I will see you next year.